こんにちは。私の名前は Jason Shapiro。And that is all the Japanese I speak. So it is April 9th, 2024. Here's my thoughts on today's market.、Um, we came in this morning early, and the, which I spoke about yesterday, the, the central bank,、um, the Bank of England,、um, was quite dovish, more dovish than would have been expected. And Correspondingly, the British pound sold off. And it was kind of cool because the British pound was making its way back very nicely、um, despite that news. And then here we had US data come out, some employment data, and that was weaker than expected. And from there, the dollar sold off, and so the British pound went up.、Um, and so did the Canadian dollar, and so did the Swiss franc. Today was a good day for the dollar short bet. This was when the data came out right here.、Um, And it was good if it's short dollars、um, that it actually followed through.、Um, so, on the back of that, we also had the bonds go up. Now, the bonds really were struggling,、um, I thought, most of the day. This was when the data came out, but the bonds really weren't up、um, until we had an auction. We had a 30 year auction today. It went,、uh, I think, very well.、Um, And the bonds went up and that supported stocks. Stocks were pretty much supported most of the day anyway.、Um, but when the auction came up, you know, they kind of got more supported. And so stocks went up. So we're back, as I was saying the other day, we're back to what has been the narrative,、um, the trend slash narrative, which is slightly weaker numbers, which is what we got with the employment report, equals more hope for rate cuts, equals a higher stock market. That has not equaled. Uh, lower dollar,、um, but it has started to.、Um, it certainly did today,、um, and it has started to, to do that. So,、um, that in general was, was the story today. Oh, and the metals just ripped on that, as they should have.、Um, silver, which I have not been a bull of.、Um, Really had a nice day today and is back. This was the reversal day、uh, when I started getting bearish. And essentially, I wouldn't say I got bearish, but I would say I would say I didn't think being long was the great trade. But we are back in that area. So anyone who has tried to short it since then is now losing money.、Um, so you probably have some trap shorts, although people are still long this thing in general. But people who tried to short it、um, are probably trapped here. Gold has not gotten back to that, but has also rebounded. And copper, which I don't like very much right here,、um, had a good day as well, as it should. These are all things that should have happened. And as you know, I'm, I'm more interested in the things that shouldn't have happened.、Um, and the dollar, I'm not going to say it shouldn't have happened because we did get slightly weaker data, but that hasn't really been pushing the dollar down this year. And now it is starting to. So. Um, and in particular, the pound, which did have bearish data, and you can see the reversal day on that. And I keep saying they're super short this stuff, and if we can get a squeeze, this could turn into something nice, right? That's the Canadian chart. Even the yen didn't go down today without intervention.、Um, I can't even think of the last time that happened.、Um, Euro is on new highs for the move here.、Um, Swiss franc, which I spoke a lot about yesterday, is touching, you know.、Uh, so clearly, for this dollar trade to, to be a bigger thing, it's going to take some kind of catalyst, which, which would most likely take the form of a weaker CPI number. I don't know if there's going to be a weaker CPI number, unfortunately. I don't have access to that data.、Um, my hope, given that I have come along some of these currencies, is that they can go up into it. We have a few days before that. So, that I have some buffer so as not to get stopped if the data comes out longer、uh, or if the data comes out stronger.、Um, but we're going to have to see where we are at that point and we're going to have to see where the data comes out. And then, of course, we're going to have to see where it reacts. The dream would be if the data comes out stronger, CPI, and the dollar can go down anyway. It's probably not going to go down at first, just like in the British pound today. But by the end of the day, hopefully it can rebound and go down. That would be the dream.、Um, The dream doesn't seem to happen very often, but we can always dream.、Um, and and this, is, this is how I'm seeing it. Okay? So.
that's my thoughts today. Um, questions and comments always welcome. Please sign up for our free Substack where you can get these videos sent to your email um, and you can get a whole bunch of other free stuff that we send. Um, and as I said, we will be doing an interview. Uh, we'll be releasing an interview that we did this week with a great macro trader um, that will be available only to our Substack subscribers. Uh, okay, so I hope everybody had a good day. Um, I hope we're keeping our, our risk management in shape. And uh, we will talk again tomorrow. Thank you.